<laughs> oh jeez. Oh man. Okay. Is it too loud or is it fine? For some reason. <laughs> Traveler's Tales. Uh, Traveler's Tales. We just played a game from them. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, uh, hey everyone to a surprise playthrough of Sonic R. I'm Super Mario Sonic Lover. I'm Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> My throat. I think they have 92. Yep, and we're going through a Traveler's Tales playthrough to another Traveler's Tales playthrough, I guess. But, um, yeah, th th this is kind of a spur of the moment thing, like, uh, just a game Scrappy wanted to do from my LP list, and, um, yeah, th this is going to be pretty short, because uh, it's a very short game, not much to this one, and we can probably just get through, we're, we're probably going to be able to get through this pretty quickly, so, it's just kind of a, I guess, I, I don't know that when this is going to go up, but um, as of this recording, um, I'm in the middle of going through the t uh, the Sonic Heroes playthrough. Um, and this is basically just a break from that, I suppose. And uh, we got Scrappy along here with me to fill the sunshine, I suppose. But, um, yeah, what's your experience with this game? Existence. Really now? Uh, do you. Uh, what, what have you seen of it? <laughs> well, I've seen plenty of gameplay and reviews of it, I just, I okay. just never played it. Okay. Uh, it's not. Um, it's. I, I do enjoy this game enough. I, I think its main issue is the lack of content. Because there's only like four. There's four stages when you start the game, and then you unlock a fifth stage, and that's literally it. Like, uh, the. I, I, I do kind of like the idea of like a, a, like a Sonic Racing game, and um, this um, is like the first. Probably be like the first semi decent one, because Sonic. I don't hate Sonic Drift, but um, it's kind of meh. And this is like the first one where, the first Sonic racing game where, it kind of feels Sonic-y in that, I, I guess if that makes sense. Um, it's the only Sonic racing game where Sonic himself gets to be on foot. Yeah. And I kind of, I don't know, I, I, I like that every, it's a, it's a 3D racer, and technically the first 3D Sonic game by technicality, but, mm. First fully 3D Sonic game that was in like just a compilation that had a hub with like Sonic Jam. Yeah, I think Sonic Jam. Blast. I think Sonic Jam was like meant to be a um, uh, like a prototype for SA One. Um, like the hub world. I'm surprised. Um, I don't really count 3D Blast though because it's isometric, and I can I uh, would class that was uh, it, I wouldn't class that as the same thing personally. <laughs> I also f completely forgot where some of these m Sonic medals are, so this might be a bit of trial and error. But yeah, there's a um, there's a weather system in this game where um, like it's snowing now, and that actually makes it so you can run on the water because it's frozen now, and that's kind of cool, I guess. Suppose. I guess. Okay. Yeah. I think the last one should be in here. The thing with the the main thing issue with the the controls really is that the turning is like when you like stop and have to like turn around, it takes a while. F it it kind of just takes a while. <laughs> And you also have to, you have to at least be third, I want to say, uh, to get like, 
the character you get from the medals. So... Dang it. Yay! Let's melt Sonic. Ah, uh, the old days when Sonic's supporting cats hadn't really been solidified yet. <laughs> yeah. I see some... I'm trying to remember who's in this game. Pretty small roster, all things considered. Yeah. This game was... was uh... Hmm? This, was this 96, 97? Um, I'm not sure. How many characters did Sock the Fighters have? Um, I'm gonna say like it had. Well, there's like the eight emeralds thing, so it has to like eight, counting like Mel Sonic and Eggman, like ten, I guess. Slightly bigger roster than this. Yeah. That's the one that has all the weird choices. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this, this game's kind of memed on now, but when it came out, like, it was, um. As far as I understand it, it reviewed pretty well. I could be wrong about that. Because, like, it's a. Uh, the levels are pretty big. There's um, a lot of pathways you can try and explore, and um, it's not it's it's not really a bad game at all. It's just again, it's lack of content. Like it, you can 100 percent this game in like 30 minutes if you know what you're doing. And there is a like some multiplayer stuff. There's like I think like a. Pop the balloons uh, mi mini game and like a um, tag thing where you like had to just tag the uh, other players or something like that. It's been a while since I played any of them, so I could be misremembering them. But the station square. It's where well, it's one of the first. Um, I think it's one of the first actual cities we've see we see in Sonic. I could be wrong. Are there any like stages in the uh, in the classics that are like city themed? Uh, aside from the casino levels, um, think of any, um, there was a plan. I think there was a plan zone for Sonic Two. Oh, that's true. That's kind of like a say. Yeah. What was that plan? Oh no, no, not plan zone. I meant a planned zone that. Didn't oh. Make it the game. Oh, okay. Right. Um, with the Let's say I try to call it the Genocide City Zone. I don't think they knew exactly what that word meant in English. Yep. <laughs> I think. Oh, okay. I think. I think what happened is the um, uh, Genocide City Zone. Um, it was like like the stuff of that was like unfinished, but they didn't. They didn't want to completely like get rid of the assets, so they just evolved it into Metropolis Act Three. I think. Because, from what I understand, it was originally supposed to have... Metropolis was supposed to just have two acts, and then go into Genocide City. But, yeah. They just had to make Metropolis longer instead, because they couldn't finish Genocide. This has a traction on a, on a soap bar. Yeah. They couldn't, they couldn't finish the Undertale route. Yeah, I, I do enjoy this game for what it is. It's um, it, it's kind of just a relaxing uh, romp for like half an hour or so, just trying to get everything. Uh, there's nothing inherently that like too difficult about doing a regular playthrough, and um, I don't know. It's just kind of a relaxing playthrough, really. I hope I can find music. Hmm? Music. Yeah. Yeah, the music's really good too. I I have I do not remember where the last coin is. 
Do you need the, the tokens for to get to all see all the characters and stages? Uh, you need um. You need the uh, the medals, the uh, coin medals or whatever to unlock a character, and I think getting all the emeralds, get, well, it gets supersonic and um, the final level, I think. Uh, let's do Mel Sonic. Um, actually, no. I think what happens is you get first in every level, then you get the final stage. <laughs> There's basically like two tiers of characters. Like you have your main cast, obviously, like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Eggman, and then you have the unlockable characters, which are basically just the main cast again, but um. Like, robot versions, basically. And then you obviously have Super Sonic as your, like, your final unlockable. Um... Exactly the most... This is a pretty bare-bones cast. Yeah, like I said, it's uh, very, like, short on content. Even by the standards of what Sonic... Even... Sonic not having that... Actually, no. He had plenty of friends, even in the mid-90s. They just... Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the... A lot of characters during this era just don't really show up anymore. Like, Fang comes to mind immediately. Like, they... they well, they brought back... Um, uh, f um, was it? I think I already went down there. Um, they Chaotix. The Chaotix, and they... The Team Hooligan, I think is what they're called. The... Uh, Fang, uh, Bark, and, um, Beam, I think? Or Knack? No, Fang is Knack. But why do yeah. they have different names? I don't- I uh, never understood that, why Fang had two names. Alright, where is this fifth coin? Fang slash Knack is, like, the stubbiest weasel I've seen in my life. <laughs> Ooh, nope. Haven't been up there yet. Oh. No, it's not here. I don't understand where this like is. Metal Sonic looks, like looks like he's just, just kind of... ...floating model. Yeah. I'm having a complete brain fart. <laughs> I think I missed it. Uh... You go into- I forget, did you go into the- the ring gate yet? Um, I think I've already done those. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rest restart. I don't know. It's been a long time since I played this game, so... I'm gonna go over here, see if there's anything. No, it's just a normal pathway. I don't know what I'm missing. Wait. Anything in here? No. Oh, goodness. Let's just explore the level for a little bit. Because if I drop down here, that's just back down there. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't think I ever went down this way. Okay, okay, I found it. It's just this. Alright. That's simple. The frame rate on your end? Uh, the frame rate's pretty solid. Is it, uh, being slow for you? I was just trying to... Uh, ...being the operative word to be topical about the games. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's not much to really say about this game, to be honest. Like, you said, it basically just said the main things I needed to, honestly. But, you know. I don't mind this game too much. So, what's your, like, experience with, like, just this era of Sonic in general, I guess? The graphics, the graphics Sonic always looked weird when I had... So, I have the hindsight... I guess I have the hindsight of seeing where Sonic went after this. Yeah. It's always a little... It's always a little surreal seeing the stuff with short designs. Yeah. Yeah, when, when you see... Of, like, Classic Sonic always looked weird to me in 3D. I don't really understand. I, I can't really pinpoint why. Looks fine here, like, kind of, like about as fine as a one in 1997 would. I suppose. What? Why does Mel Sonic have a rainbow trail when he uses the speed boost? Oh, that just happens for everyone when they go into the, uh speed booster thing that it, it takes up like uh dang it it takes up a specific amount of rings okay okay that's i think it needs to go back a bit i think where is this all right i need to go through this way dang it <laughs> oh yeah 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 spending too much time on this level <laughs> This is <laughs> specifically to this, with the era that this came out, this is, well, for Sonic, basically. Mm. Knuckles, pre Sonic Adventure 1, so it's just Sega kind of thumbs waiting for the next platformer. Yeah, because like, this, uh, this Saturn didn't really get like a proper new Sonic game. Like, it got a version of Sonic 3D Blast. It got this. Best version. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Yeah, it didn't really get, like, the like the next big step, really. And, um... I feel like... That's one of the reasons... Uh, like... Oh, I need to go through there, actually. Dang it. Oh, well. We've got two more laps. Um... I feel like that's one of the reasons why Sega went third party, because, like, the fact that, like, people got, like, got a Saturn, and then, and then, like, be before they even made a proper a Sonic game for it, like, a main series one, I guess you could say, like, they just went to the Dreamcast, um, and I feel like they just didn't give, they, they, they just kept jumping platforms too quickly. It's like, at least with the, like, at least with the Wii U, like, they gave it a full four-year lifespan. I mean, uh, Saturn had a four-year lifespan in Japan. Oh, it actually lived for four, four years. 94 to 98, I believe, like... Oh, dang. And actually, Saturn technically got four years in the West, 95 to 99. Oh, but dang. Like, I basically let... This thing, I basically just stopped paying attention to it for like a year. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, mm. Saturn is basically a case study for everything that can go wrong. Yeah. Like, I guess, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, do not ever, if you run a video game company, do not ever let your brand, your foreign branches go to war with each other. Yeah. The reason we, as we all know, no children, the reason we have friendly fellow. Yeah. <laughs> The tails, doll. Whoa, nightmares. That's the central. Yeah. yeah, but um. A lot of it. I. Before Ben drowned, we had the tails, doll. Indeed. I don't pay attention to either of those, but everyone yeah. talks about them. Yeah. Back on the set pattern. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot. Mainline side platform because my team and sleepy douchebags to each other. Yeah, and uh, Sonic Extreme just 
like went through development how and just got cancelled. I'm still very surprised that they didn't like get Sonic Team or the Sega Technical Institute or even Traveler's Tales just to make a 2D Sonic game. Yeah. Saturn just just so they could have something. Yeah. I, I feel like we it never... was it's a thing of like they like uh, by that point um like Mario's already gone 3D like Crash is is being a thing Rayman 2 like Rayman 2's relatively new and like all that stuff so I, I feel like it's an expectation thing like they expect Sonic to take the step as well and they just weren't ready f like with all the stuff going on they just weren't ready at the time Rayman 2 came out after Sonic Adventure 1 Oh Rayman 2 came out after okay never mind then yeah, I mean, Japan got Sonic Adventure like a year before everyone else. Okay. And you can tell because the buggy, that buggy version is the basis for the DX version. <laughs> Man. Oh my. Remember when consoles used to launch in Japan a year before everyone else? Yeah, that was painful. That's kind of the opposite because oh, Japan didn't get the PS4 until like several months after. America. For I, some, I don't imagine. I imagine they weren't happy about that. Speaking of like games coming out later in regions, uh, for some reason, Pikmin 2 for the Wii came out like three years later in. It was either America or Europe, but it was really stupid. <laughs> like it, that makes no sense. Yeah. Now we go. America kind of seems to be stumbling with their localizations for a brief while. Yeah. Man, it's... Uh, it kind of, like... I mean, obviously it's been years since this point, and uh, I w obviously wasn't, like, aware of the whole Sega going third party thing until I was much older. But it's kind of kind of, kind of sad that uh, that had to happen, because um, Sega's, like, probably the only... Uh, game developer that has like that has like so many IPs that could rival the amount of like Nintendo's and um, I don't know. Uh, Sega did not do a very good job curating their IPs aside from Sonic. Like yeah, like I appreciated the variety they could do, their developers could do with any given system, but yeah, do Sega. Console were rarely the same. Yeah. So like, we're gonna get. You didn't. And there was a Golden Axe game on Saturn. Hmm. I feel like their goal to try and be like try. I feel like they were trying too hard to be better than Nintendo, and because of that, they didn't focus enough on how good they just could be in general, and it just cost them. It just cost them dearly. I feel like I, I feel like they just focused more on like uh, trying to make them the be make their games the best they can be. Like that would have been that would have uh, done much better for them in the long run. I don't know. They had the games and the, the the developers. They just did not have good planning a lot of time. They yeah, that's the main thing. Releasing hardware f f haphazardly. Yeah. Japan branch not either being too either didn't have the foresight to kind of, you know, tell the American branches to cut it out or they too arrogant themselves and wouldn't let the American branches do their thing. Yeah. No, I I, was kind think... of arrogant himself, but he didn't yeah. seem to have a decent idea of how to work in the United States. It's like a mix of a lot of things cold. really. Yay. They dropped support for Saturn way too early, like... Yeah. Like... Or later support for the Wii U look good. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Yay. Try to show off most of the characters. So, yeah. Tails is all supposed to be a robot, right? Um, I, I think he, well, I think he's just literally meant to be like a, a doll. There's no, I don't know. 
weird floaty controls. I don't really understand Gosh. how this works. This one here. There's a I remember there being like a secret area or something. This way? Yeah. No? Maybe it's up here. Yeah. This is. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, there we go. Probably gonna lose, though. Still need one more, though. And there's still one more emerald here, too. I don't think I'm even gonna... ...finish in third. There it is. Yep. Yeah, we might have to restart, because I... Well, I can see what happens, but... Oh, it just ends. They'll make you finish it if you're guaranteed last. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't give you the character. Alright. Never played much on either system, but I do kind of think Saturn and Dreamcast era Sega is kind of my favorite Sega. Hmm. Yeah, I can understand that. It's interesting seeing the... This thing was weird. I miss that. Yeah. I kind of like the arcade design mentality, where it's like... Um, like, Nintendo's design is, like, more... I don't want to say perfect, but there's more of a reason to everything in a game. Whereas, like, Sega's... Sega's games are more arcadey and like, that you get the most out of them by just playing them over and over again. And uh, I find that kind of... I kind of like that, honestly. I kind of enjoy um, the arcade kind of mindset, just trying to play a game multiple times to get uh, better and better at, it, better at it. What are those guys go going down there for? Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna jump over this. There's a thing over here. I think I got the emerald. I heard the sound. Um, what is it? I don't remember whether it, there's like a different path I need to go through. Why am I? Why am I fifth? Oh, never mind. Uh, no, I messed up. <laughs> Day just change. Yeah, um, there's the you can there's you can change like the time of day and the weather and all that. Um, I have it set to random, but 
you can set it to a specific thing. That's it's kind of nice. It's kind of cool, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go down here first. Because there's a... Yeah. Oh, dang it. Got it right? Or did... There we go. Okay. <sighs> okay, so... There's... The one up here. Dang it. And then there's... Have I gone the one up here? Or one over? Yes? Hmm. Hopefully the last... The last one is like on the main path. It should be. Yeah, there we go. Let's just try and win now. Hopefully that's not impossible. I think I just need to be third. Let's go this way because it's a bit faster. Wow! Oh! Come on. Since we're on a topic of racing games. Yeah. Practice team racing nitro field lately. Oh yeah. Um I've seen Egg Robo um I've seen the uh, the the two of the crushed nitro kart tracks and they look really good. Like man, like I know like Vicarious Visions made Nitro Kart and like they I feel like they are just the guys to handle Crash from now on because they just seem to know what they're doing with the uh, with the franchise. Like they seem to understand like what makes Crash work with like the environments and whatnot, and just the gameplay in general. Always had an affinity for the old style of the visuals. Yeah, Nitro Kart was pretty much the first. Time they actually got to create some visuals, or some comple completely new visuals of their own. Yeah, and it, it, it I think it fits with like, uh, like um, with like the old. I don't know, like it feels Nitro Kart's uh, levels from the two I've seen. Like it feels like it could just fit in with like the original trilogy. I kind of like that. Uh, what, how, what, what's your general f opinion towards Nitro Kart? Because uh, I know like very little about it. It's a Christmas gift for me in 2003. I uh, mistakenly thought it was going to be a new platformer. Oh. Dang. Yeah, imagine my surprise. <laughs> Still races section that they have in Crash Team Racing and Nitro Kart. I thought, oh, okay, we can finally go on foot and get crystals. <laughs> I was a dumb kid. To be fair, um, I'm not much better because uh, when I played Rayman Raving Rabbids the first time, I thought it, there was just a really it, it was just a really long tutorial, and um, I was gonna get um, <laughs> like after I did all the mini games and um, whatnot, I would uh, like escape from the rabbits and then the platforming would start. But uh, what I got instead was like, oh, I got credits now. Wait, the game's over. <laughs> Uh, so I, I'm... Your defense, Raving Rabbids was meant to be Rayman 4. Yeah, I, I've seen some videos and, and all that, but... Yeah, I was seriously expecting, like, an actual platformer, and I was... I still enjoy Rav uh, Raving Rabbids for what it is, but I got a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie. Oh, and several other people, apparently. Yeah. I'm okay with it now. I game after would be a traditional thing. 
Yeah, I don't have enough rings. Okay, so Amy is the only one, well, besides like Eggman, I guess, is the only one that has like a vehicle, like a car, I guess you could say. Um, and she's ju just probably the worst character in the game, honestly. She's, she's a, like her general speed is just really slow. She does get a boost every 10 rings or so, uh, but yeah, she's not great. <laughs> Vehicle has a handicap because we know his true top speed is way too fast for Sonic. Yeah, boy. That was some bullcrap in Sonic 2. <laughs> What's that? You mean a dog was barking in the background? I'm trying to mute myself. Oh, okay. Also, Sonic also, Sonic ending is nonsense. Oh, yeah. So the fact, well, the fact that uh, if you, if you're supersonic like tail, you just ignore tails. Man. The, the boost is kind of abrupt too, like, yeah. I might just not use Amy. Cause like, it just kind of happens. I'm just, I'm just holding A like normal. We're in a car, and that's why Sonic R sucks. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, my bad. Okay, so I, I thought that you had to hold A to uh, accelerate. You just have to hold up. A is how you do the boost. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. You really did look like a gender swap Sonic back in the day. Yeah. Especially with, like, the, the fact that the quills are just, just pink. It, she's literally just pink Sonic with a headband. Yeah. Why is it just dropping? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know why I'm even Bounce. bothering. I don't even know why I'm even bothering at this point, because we're gonna lose anyway. I do like the car cut back and forth into whatever craft. Yeah, that is cool. She's the I think she's one of the only characters that can hover on the water infinitely, so she has that going for her. I don't think we're gonna get anything. Yeah, for a moment I thought she was bashing her head into the steering wheel for <laughs> I, that, that is like, like, like such a tease. The, em the emerald right from the nose, <laughs> so it drops. <laughs> yeah. 